Could you share what the most dramatic pivot was that you had to make and how valuable that pivot that pivot was? A lot of times when we think about these startups and the ideas that went into making them, typically we start with one idea, but what you end up with is so dramatically, sometimes very dramatically different. But the, the ability to kind of make that stretch, right? A lot of times, you know, we don't have, like I was very, very adamant about, you know, what my son had come up with and us forcing that idea down anybody's throat. <laughs> and the notion is that, you know, maybe the pivot is actually better, but because we don't have any experience at this, we don't necessarily know that's the case all the time and when to pivot, when not to pivot and, you know, kind of what's what. So I'd like to hear about your, your experience doing that and, and, and how valuable the pivots were that you did actually end up making. Yeah, that's a great question. So we're, we're lucky in the sense that we're still young, right? So, you know, you're not, you're not going to be pivoting every month. You're not going to be pivoting every like three months. I think you pivot sort of when the market or when the world gives you a signal that it's time to, to pivot. For me, I think we pivoted kind of early on. So the initial iteration of Goodable was I just wanted to pitch a series to like Netflix, in the beginning, it was like, look, we actually, we did the promos, we did the trailers, like we came up with the concept of all that stuff. And we're like, let's just pitch a series where this guy named Mohammed goes around the world in search of people who are doing amazing things. To this day, I think that's, that'd be a great series. Like that's my wheelhouse, right? I know how to create videos uh, that you would watch on TV and I've got a great team. And like, I think I, think I would do that. I'd have fun. I get paid money. My team would get paid money. And as long as it gets, gets renewed on Netflix, we'd be okay. And so the biggest pivot we made was like right then when we said, okay, well, if we do that, we're no different than any other production company or content creator in the world. We're creating content and we're selling it and somebody else owns that content and they own us, right? So if you have like a series on CNN, they give you all these rules about what you can and you can't do right. and, and they make the money, right? So you basically sell it and then, but they're the ones that are multiplying the value. So you sell it to them for like 100,000, they sell it for 10 million. Right. And so the biggest pivot we made was actually a business decision where we said, look, let's, let's keep the idea of a series, but let's build something where we own the user, we own the audience and we own the platform. That was the only way that we could actually um, build something that was like scalable in a big way because content itself is not scalable. It's really hard to make good content. And so we said, well, let's just own the audience. Why should we sell something to somebody else who owns the audience? Why don't we just take the harder path, which is building that platform ourselves so that we own the user? And that was a pivot that we made early on. And it's worked because we would never have been able to raise any money if, if I said, hey, I'm doing a series, right? Like, like a TV series. Nobody's going to give us money for that. But also, it's, it's like you can do it, right? You can't build the next Twitter. The, the tools are out there. The market is out there. And it's possible.